Alright YouTube, what's going on? Um, really tired night. Um, gonna be doing a little game review here that I've got done playing. Didn't beat it, but I'm through most, about 70% through the game. And it's this game right here. Dead Island. Um, overall thoughts on it. It's okay. I mean, that's really all I can say about it. It's okay. It had its moments where it was fun, but for the most part, guys, I'm going to fair warn you, at least I had this experience, this game will frustrate the shit out of you. I mean, I'm not, I'm not kidding, maybe it's just me, but I had a buddy who played this and he said he got frustrated too. It's just, the beginning of the game seems all fine and good, like everything's going smoothly, but until you about get to like the city part, I'm not sure the name of it, and the jungle especially, this game went from like this. It went from here to there. Uh, as far as toughness goes, it uh, not to mention um, the fact I have a couple of complaints of this game. Two main complaints, really, or maybe more if I keep listing here. If I think of it, um, the uh, there's some glitches in this game that I'm not uh, that I noticed. For an example, if you're trying to do like a mission and you set uh, and you uh, select a side quest or a main quest you want to do. Usually it has a white dotted line and then a red flag and it'll show you where to go. Now sometimes that didn't show up. I would click the mission and nothing would happen. It wouldn't show me where to go. There were times where I got, I just guessed and got close to it because I happened to remember what it said the first time and then it would show up. But then as soon as I'd walk away it'd disappear again. And then, um, so that was one right there. Um, really it didn't do that a lot of times but a couple times it did. And a lot of times I had to load last checkpoint a couple times. Um, you know, and like I said, I don't like doing that. You shouldn't have to do that, honestly. I mean, but uh, anyways, the other major complaint I have with this game is it's all auto-save. There's no manual saves in this game. It's all auto-saved. So, for an example, if, if you happen to be in the jungle and you're doing a side mission in the city, let's say, and you go to, let's say something happens where you got to, you know, take an hour break or something and you come back. Well, it starts you right in the jungle again because you can't select an older save. And once you're at a part, let's say, that you can't, you know, you can't complete because you don't have enough weapons, you're stuck there. I mean, at least my experience. Now, if there's a way around that, I'd appreciate if somebody told me, but you're, you're stuck there. I mean, that's just the way it is because there's no, you can't select an older save because if you load last checkpoint, it, it takes you right to that same spot. If you restart the game, it, it takes you to the exact same spot. So those are my two major complaints with this game. Um, other than that, on a positive note, the game was fun. You know, I haven't finished yet, nor do I really care to because, like I said, the game is just, it's the point now where it frustrates you more than anything. So, I don't know. I might come back to it, but, um, now, I understand they're making a part two. Well, my suggestion to you guys, for if you're really thinking about buying the part two, whatever it's called, I would highly suggest you wait after about three to six months after it's released. Because if history repeats itself, this game will probably have a lot of bugs. I mean, from what I've seen. And I see videos on this game. I happen to do some research on YouTube, and I see videos all the time of this exact same game that the people are having the exact same problems. I happen to see there was a mission called Pure Blood. I haven't got to that part yet, but it's a good thing I looked it up because it looks harder than shit. Now I'm going to need like Molotovs and uh, really good weapons. So thank you for the YouTubers that point, uh, pointed that out before I got there because I could see if you walked in there totally blind with basic weapons. I mean, I could see how you could be screwed. Now apparently there's a patch that came out. And, you know, like I said, guys, the patching and the downloading, I, you shouldn't have to do that. You really shouldn't. I mean, this is these are kind of games right here is the reason why I stuck with the PlayStation 2 until up to this year because quite frankly there was just I couldn't get any new more games for it so I had no choice so the PlayStation 3 as overall as a system is pretty good you know I don't really got I mean Far Cry 3 is really the only game that I've bought for the PS3 so far that's worth bragging about honestly except well and Saints Row the third ain't bad Madden Madden's garbage like I told you before, I don't even bother buying the new Madden because it's garbage. Um, and then what other games do I got? Mafia 2 sucks. Grand Theft Auto 4 sucks. Um, and then I, I heard Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming out. I can't wait for that, honestly, because it's about time for a new Grand Theft Auto game. But anyways, guys, that's my little review and rant of Dead Island. Um, if, it's one of them games, if you see it on the shelf for 
10 bucks, pick it up, but if you see it any more than that, I wouldn't do it, honestly, because, I mean, I can see why this game was on sale, you know, but uh, anyways, overall, if you like the game, that's great, I mean, I'm not trying to bash viewers who don't like the game, I personally just don't care for it, it's not really my type of game, it had its moments where it was fun, the beginning of the game was really more fun than anything, because after you get to the city, it just turns into, I mean, if you ain't either drunk, you're going to be pulling your hair out of your head in this game, so, um, so that's my review of it. Um, got producers, I won't mention their names, but most of you know because I ain't going to bash anybody's product. But uh, the producers, uh, I think, need to, when they, if they're thinking about releasing part two, I think they need to listen to the viewers because, oh, and another thing I want to comment too, the guns in this game are absolutely useless. I mean, really, you're better off hitting a zombie with a wooden paddle than a gun, honestly. I happen to upgrade, I mean, I had to upgrade a pistol, like, to, there's four times you can upgrade, I updated it, or, up, upgraded it to the max. Now it's somewhat useful, but before that, forget it, you might as well just use a wooden paddle. I still say you're better off using, like, a machete or something like that, because the <laughs> guns in this game are worthless. The only thing the guns are good for is blowing up propane tanks and, uh, defeating the actual humans in this game, but for zombies, forget it. Just use the weapons, trust me. Um... And I'll probably show you a little clips of it when I'm talking about, uh, just so you guys can see, uh, and then you can see what I'm talking about, we'll see, but uh, like I said, I don't even know if I, I might continue to play this game just to want to see the ending, but uh, who knows, maybe I will, maybe I won't. So that's my review of it, guys, and if you got any good games that are good for the PS3, please throw them out there, because right, I'm new to this PS3 deal, I mean, I'm a PlayStation 2 guy, I've been a PlayStation 2 vet for t 10 years, so I don't know much about the PS3 other than its name, so... Anyways, guys, just give me some suggestions, and thanks for watching.